wanaume wengi sana ambao hawajakuja we know them they are in our groups let us also pray for them na kama unaweza after after i don't know i don't know wakati gani we could have done that earlier ah uh, tutaombea tu Mungu atafanya jambo in Jesus name so i want us to thank god because of our lives first as men alafu baada hapo tuombe tushukuru kwa sababu pia huu mkutano. Amen. So let, let us all oh, tatuimbi. Tunaingia tu kwa maombi. <laughs> Ama tuimbe. Wastahili ewe Bwana. Wastahili ewe Bwana. Tumuinulie Bwana mikono tukumwambia nastahili. Wastahili ewe Bwana. Kupokea utu Bwana wa mabwana. of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ our father we want to thank you i want to bless your holy name because you are a faithful god you are a good god and this morning i want to bless your name oh god for giving me this opportunity oh god to see this great and mighty day the day that's made for me to rejoice and be glad in it i want to bless your holy name oh god because of my life thank you lord because you have preserved me oh god thank you dear father lord because you have provided for me oh dear god jehovah father the head of my family umeni inua umeni kumba umeni kumbuka baba umeni tualia mahitaji yangu jehovah na baba ni asante kwa sababu umeweza kunisaidia bwana hata kuwajibika juu ya familia yangu katika jina la yesu kristo i want to thank you dear god jehovah father even because of the levels that you are lifting me this day in the name of jesus christ kuna mahali unanipeleka kuna ni mahali jehovah bwana unaniinua jehovah bwana niwe na nakushukuru siku ya leo kwa sababu maisha yangu jehovah bwana yataendelea kuimarika siku baada ya siku katika jina la yesu kristo nitaendelea baba kuongezeka katika maarifa nitaendelea kuongezeka katika katika hii katika hekima in the mighty name of jesus christ nitaendelea kuongezeka jehovah bwana kifedha jehovah katika jina la yesu kristo nitaendelea kuongeza kete ka bwana kimaadili jehovah mfalme nitaongezeka kiroho mjehova katika jina la yesu kristo nitaongezeka katika kulifahamu neno lako katika jina la yesu kristo nitaongezeka katika maombi nitaongezeka katika ushirika bwana katika jina la yesu kristo baba ninakushukuru jehovah bwana because jehovah father this is the beginning of good things lord in my life oh god na nakushukuru jehovah kwa sababu unaenda kunibariki unaenda kuniinua jehovah katika jina la yesu kristo i want us to thank god now because of this meeting in the name of jesus christ and i thank god for 
for, for, for he allowing it to happen this day in the name of Jesus Christ baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya mkutano huu Jehovah ni mkutano ambao uliijua hata kabla ya misingi ya dunia na ni asante Jehovah kwa sababu ya mipango yako Jehovah ni asante Jehovah mfalme kwa sababu unakusudi na maisha ya kila mwanaume atakaye kuja mahali hapa bwana kuna ujumbe ambao umeandaa kwa sababu Jehovah ya kila mwanaume ambaye atafika mahali hapa katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuna jambo unatenda katika maisha ya kila mwanaume atakayefika mahali hapa bwana kila yeyote atakayefikiwa na ujumbe huu Jehovah kuna yale unatenda katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo it is not in vain oh dear god that you called us into this gathering oh dear god it is in your purpose it is in your plan oh god and i want to thank you dear for the lord because of the table that you have prepared for us men in fountain worship center our friends oh dear god your father and every other, every other man that shall gather in this place of god ni asante kwa sababu una mimi na baraka maalum una mimi na nguvu maalum katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba unatuinua kuwa mababa ambao wanastahili unatuinua jehova kuwa wazee wanaostahili jehova bwana unatuinua kuwa watumishi wako wanaostahili katika jina la Yesu Kristo na siku ya leo jehova nataka kusema asante kwa sababu yale unatenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo siku ya leo bwana baba ni asante maana maisha yetu yanabadilika bwana unatuinua bwana katika kiwango kingine cha ufahamu wako unatuinua bwana katika kiwango kingine cha hekima yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo you are repositioning us oh dear god in our rightful places oh dear god you are repositioning us oh god in our areas of responsibility in the name of Jesus Christ i want to thank you father i want to bless your name oh god i want to glorify your name mighty god because you are faithful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ nataka tuchukue wakati huu pia tuombe hawa watumishi wa Mungu wametoka mbali wamejitolea kuja mahali hapa ili waweze kuwa baraka kwetu nataka wainue mbele za Mungu nataka mwambie Mungu ya kwamba kile ambacho wameandaa ndani yao kisiweze kukupita katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuombe nguvu tuombe Jehovah bu tuombe hekima tuombe Jehovah bu hata tuombe hata upako wa Mungu juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo so my father i want to thank you my father i want to bless your name because you are a good god asante jehova bwana because hii ni siku ambao niijua hata kabla ya misingi ya dunia na baba ni asante kwa sababu umetuandalia vyombo mahali hapa bwana katika ushirika huu vyombo ambavyo bwana bwana umevivig you have impacted the whole demo dear god with your message oh dear god na siku ya leo naombea nguvu mpya naombea nguvu maalum na ombea upako maalum katika jina la Yesu Kristo na wainua mbele zako Jehova ewe Mungu wetu wewe ndiye unayewafahamu unajua mioyo yao Jehova unajua kile ambacho umeweka ndani yao kwa sababu yetu na siku ya leo Jehova na wanenea Jehova Bwana baraka zako na wanenea ushindi wako Jehova katika jina la Yesu Kristo na mfalme utukufu utawatumia Jehova kuwa baraka kwetu Jehova uta utawatumia kuwa baraka katika jamii zetu utawatumia Jehova kuwa baraka kwa hii community in the name of Jesus Christ utaenda kuwatumia kuwa baraka hata kwa kanisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo i want to thank you father i want to bless your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ pokea shifa na utukufu wewe ni Mungu mwema oh we are ready to receive from your servants oh dear god even as we receive them oh dear god in the name of Jesus Christ we receive them in this fellowship we receive them in our midis in the name of jesus christ with great joy in our hearts oh dear god jehovah father because this is your doing in the name of jesus christ we worship your name we bless your name in the name of jesus christ we know you are now to kuzwe mfalme hakuna mungu aliye kama wewe hakuna muweza kama wewe hakuna nguvu kama zako tegemeo letu na tumaini letu ni wewe ndio maana Jehova tunakubariki asubuhi ya leo tunakutukuza asubuhi ya leo tazama njaa na kiu iliyo ndani ya mioyo yetu Jehova ukatujaza 
upya ukatushibisha bwana ukatuinua upya ukaturekebisha upya bwana ukatukemea katika jina la Yesu Kristo ukatukosoa Jehova ukaturekebisha ukatuweka laini katika jina la Yesu Kristo mfalme tunakushukuru mfalme tunakuinua wewe ni waajabu wewe ni waajabu we bless your holy name this day in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ nataka tuombe wale wazee wengine wanaume ambao katika vikundi vyetu unawajua kwa majina yao pray for them them that are not here waombe katika jina la Yesu Kristo popote waliko baraka za Mungu ziwe juu yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo my father I want to thank you because of our fellow men who are supposed to be in this place and they are not with us this day I want to thank you because you know them by their names of God how I am praying you over father that we shall minister to them oh God wherever they are oh dear God that you shall meet with them oh father in the name of Jesus Christ waliofungika Jehovah Bwana tunanena baraka zako Bwana waliona nafasi ya kuja siku ya leo tunawafungua wale wote ambao tumealika ama hata wale ambao si wa ushirika huu lakini wamealikwa mahali hapa baba mfalme tunaomba ukawafungua katika jina la Yesu Kristo ukawaleta katika mahali pa ushirika huu ili Jehovah Bwana tubarikiwe pamoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo I thank you father I bless your name because you are so faithful in the name of Jesus Christ We thank you Lord and we bless you We are worthy and faithful this day Pokea sifa na utukufu Bwana Wewe ni Mungu mwema Wewe ni Mungu wa ajabu Hakuja kuwa kama wewe Hakuta kuwa kama wewe Wewe ni Mungu Mungu liye juu sana Mungu siyebadilika Oh Mungu siyebadilika Mungu siyefananishwa na chochote Mungu siyefananishwa na yeyote Wewe ni Bwana tunakuinulia mikono yetu Let us lift our hands to the Lord and worship God Let us lift our hands to the Lord and thank him Tuwe na wakati wa kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wema wake kwa sababu ya ukuu wake kwa sababu ya baraka zake tumshukuru Mungu maana kila tunapomuomba yeye husikia tumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametenda mambo makuu katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo you are God there is no debate about it wewe ni Mungu peke yako na siku ya leo ninakuinua nikisema asante kwa sababu ya matendo yako ya ajabu Asante Bwana kwa sababu ninapokuita ninapokuomba wewe unisikia wewe unitibu maombi yangu Jehovah Bwana Asante Jehovah kwa sababu ahadi zako ni za kweli umeahidi kuwa pamoja nami hadi mwisho wa dahari na kweli Bwana hujaniacha Asante mfalme hujaniacha hujaniachia aibu Jehovah sijaibika katika maisha yangu sijaibika kama mwanaume sijaibika kama mzee sijaibika kama baba sijaibika kama mme katika jina la Yesu Kristo umekuwa mwema kwangu umekuwa mwaminifu kwangu ninakuinua ninakutukuza ninalibariki jina lako oh asante bwana oh asante bwana uinuliwe jehova utukuzwe mfalme wa falme oh sifa na utukufu ni zako oh kuna mwingine wa kuabudiwa ni wewe wa kutukuzwa ni wewe wa kusifiwa ni wewe wa kuheshimiwa ni wewe oh tukuke milele na milele we worship you king of kings we bless your holy name for you are worthy in the name of jesus you are worthy in the name of jesus you are worthy in the name of jesus we are worthy in the name of jesus Father we want to thank you. We want to bless your name this morning. Thank you for this gathering. It is in your purpose, oh dear Father. We want to thank you Lord because you know us by our names, oh God. You know the desires of our hearts, oh dear God. You know Jehovah Father our weaknesses, you know our strength, oh dear God. 
And as men, Lord, we have gathered in this place with your God, desiring to know more of you and to have more of you in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand before you, Lord, as husbands. We stand before you as fathers, oh dear God. We stand before you, dear Father, as men. We pray that, Jehovah, Father, that this day you shall meet with us in the name of Jesus Christ. This day, Lord, we shall lift our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of your servants, oh dear God, that you brought to this place, oh God. I commit them to you, dear Father. That is what that you have laid in their hearts, oh God. I'm praying that, Jehovah, Father, Lord, that they shall be a blessing to us, oh God. As they release it, oh dear God, we shall receive it as, uh, from your God in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we worship your name because you are faithful and there is no other God like you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To pigi any buana ma coffee. To pigi any buana ma coffee. Wana umbe wana ma coffee angubu. Wana umbe wana ma coffee angubu. Wana umbe wana ma coffee angubu. Yes. Hallelujah. Tutakuwa na kipindi cha dakika chache tu cha kusifu Mungu na nyimbo ka mbili tu hivi. Pambio mbili alafu from there we'll invite our visitors to tell us ni kitu gani wametuletea ama wametumwa aje kwetu watupatie huo ujumbe tunaohitaji sana maana yake ule ujumbe ni wetu eh, na watarudi hawatarudi nao in Jesus name lazima tubarikiwe lazima tusikie sauti ya Bwana because he has a reason and a purpose for our lives in Jesus name ndugu yetu Eric Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante Haleluya tumwambie Bwana asante Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante Haleluya tunasema Bwana asante
Aleluia. Amen. You may have your seats. Na ningeomba wale ambao tumeketi kule karibu na mlango tusongee upande huu. Tafadhali. Sisi wote. Mnenaji atasimama hapa. Kwa hivyo position uko mbali sana. Kama mremi kiko karibu upande huu mremi. Aniko kuja upande kuja kalia hapa. Ama hapa. Mash. Nisonge hivi. Amen. Nataka kuchukua nafasi kuwakaribisha katika mkutano huu wa leo. Hapa ni Fountain Worship Center. Mjisikie um, mko mahali ambapo pana stahili, mahali ambapo pana baraka za Mungu. Amen. Na leo tumebarikiwa sana kuwa na mkutano huu wa naume. It's a meeting that we have been longing for. It's a meeting that we've been waiting for. We've been waiting to see these blessed servants of God. Na najua ndani yetu siji kama una feel kama mimi mimi na I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to know what they have carried they have, they have carried for me. Kwa sababu kuna kitu sio chetu. Kuna kitu ambacho wamenibebea. <laughs> And this is what I'm demanding. <laughs> Karibu niinue haki yangu. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. Because they've been sent by God to deliver that message to me. Amen. And I thank God for your commitment, good servants of God. You've taken your time to come and be with us. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. We are really blessed for that commitment. Mungu abariki sana. Na sisi ni wengi sana. Wanaume ni wengi sana. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So bila kupoteza wakati sijui sijui nitatumia procedure gani ama protocol gani. Nitaita nani? <laughs> naona uh, naona wako wawili sasa na shindo nitaanza okay my brother. Yeye ndiye atatuambia hao ni akina nani wametoka wapi na wanapang, wana mipango gani kwa sababu ya huu mkutano? Wana mpango gani kwa sababu yako wewe na mimi? In Jesus name. Karibu sana brother. God bless you so much. Amen. Ah kwa sababu ya wageni I'm I'm, I'm past pastor Ernesto Kamau. God bless you so much. Amen. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you so much our dear pastor, Pastor Kamau. May God bless you and increase you mightily. Hallelujah. How are you? You are fine. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed especially to see some faces I've not seen for some time and uh, also you coming in this uh, weather and being here at this particular time it's such a blessing it's such a blessing hallelujah uh, before we start off we only uh, by nine we are supposed to be done by nine we shall be done. We have a very short and intense program. Hallelujah. Um, we shall have a cup of tea we share together and uh, we shall interact with one another. Hallelujah. So, oske kando. Amen. Oske kama mutimoja. God said it's not good for man to be alone. Hallelujah. It's not good for you to be alone. So, open up. Amen? The reason why we are here is that we may open up. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron. So we are here to sharpen one another, to build one another, to equip one another, to beautify one another. It is impossible for you to walk a lonely or a solo life. You won't reach far. You won't go far. Hallelujah. But when you learn to walk with men like the neighbor seated next to you, when you learn to interact with them, you'll find out that some of the things actually that you thought was a problem is not a problem to them because they have answers. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. I wanted us to start by one simple thing. I want us to make one simple prayer point. Amen? Amen. And I'm going to invite my brother Nixon uh, to help us, lead us in that simple prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we stand up on our feet? We are men. 
Hallelujah. And I can see we have put on big coats and jackets and uh, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Let us invite my brother Nixon uh, so that he can lead us in a, a prayer point. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Uh, majina ni kama hivyo umesikia anaitwa Nixon. Kuna jambo ambalo uh, tutaweza kuliombea. Pastor Kamau has already covered some of the points that we had prepared for and we thank God because the Holy Spirit is already among us and is leading us in this meeting. Uh, can we go, go to the book of Psalms 90? Psalms chapter 90. Uh, then, uh, because this time is very precious. Psalms 90 from verse 14. Uh, I'm reading King James, but I will still also explain it in Swahili. Excuse me. Psalms 90 from the verse 14. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. 16. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto thy children. 17. And let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yeah, the work of our hands establish thou it. Uh, the item that we are going to pray for uh, because as I have said some of them have already been tackled by Pastor Kamau uh, is that we as men that God may establish us as we base it on verse 17. Uh, Kiswahili nasema kwamba na uzuri wabwana mungu wetu uwe juu yetu kama wanaume na kazi ya mikono yetu utufanyie dhabiti bonesu asifiwe sana kwa sababu Mungu asipotufanyia kazi yetu kama wanaume dhabiti ndiposa unapata tunafanya kazi in our retirement season hakuna kitu umeweka Bwana Yesu asifiwe unakuta umefanya kazi ukiwa kama mwanaume na pale mwisho hakuna kitu unaweza kuonyeshana mpaka watoto wakikuuliza uliwacha nini hakuna baba umetununulia wapi hakuna some of us tumelelewa na single mothers our fathers walituacha tukiwa vijana wadogo but we are trying hard to set an example to our children but unless god establishes our lives bwana yesu asifiwe hakuna kitu ambacho kitaweza kuonekana kwa hivyo ningependa tu kwa dakika tatu ine hivi tukafungue vinywa vyetu kwa sababu a uh, maandiko yanasema pia in the book of genesis kuna kitu kiligadhabisha mungu uh, there is something that grieved god when he looked down and saw the wickedness that had covered the world. Na niposa mungu wakamaliza dunia na maji. Lakini hakuna kitu pia kizuri wakati mungu wanaona wanaume wakumekutana kumtafuta. Bwana asiviwe sana. So this is a day that God is not grieved. God is very happy. And when God is happy, his ear yeah, is already to receive and to hear the plea or the request that we are going to uh, to place before him. So as men, I want us to open our, our tongue, our mouth, so that, and pray that God may establish the works of our hands. Tufungue kinyu wa chetu. Tumuambie buwana ya kuamba kafanye thabiti kazi ya mikono yetu. Tunamuka mapema, tunatafuta mchana na usiku, lakini mungu wa sipo idhibitisha, itakuwa ni bure. Tumuambie buwana kama vile amesema ametumba kwa sura na mfano wake. Tumuambie tuwa thibitishe kama kazi ya mikono yetu tumwambia thibitishe ndoa zetu tumwambia thibitishe biashara zetu tumwambia thibitishe maono yetu katika jina la Yesu baba thibitisha maono yetu thibitisha kazi ya mikono yetu kama wanaume tunakuhitaji bwana tunajua kwamba itakuwa bure wewe usipoithibitisha bwana unless you establish the work of our hands it will be in vain oh god usipoithibitisha bwana itakuwa bure jehova isipoithibitisha 
Itakuwa kazi ya mikono yetu usipothibitisha biashara yetu bwana itakuwa bure kama wanaume hatuwezi bwana bila wewe hatuwezi mfalme wa rehema hatuwezi kujua kile ambacho bwana umetupangia magoro that is why we are praying today that oh god you may establish the work of our hands rekaba shanda rababurima rekarama shanda my god establish the work of our hands dibitisha kazi ya mikono yetu dibitisha ndoa zetu dibitisha mawazo yetu dibitisha bwana kile ambacho tunafanya bwana zile biashara tunafanya zile kazi tunafanya bwana sidhibitishe bwana katika jina la Yesu usikubali zipotee bwana usikubali tukajute jehova katika jina la Yesu usikubali tukajute bwana ya kwamba tulikutumikia bure katika jina la Yesu bwana tupe nguvu yako bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo by God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ makuri mashakara baba bori masaya katika jina la Yesu we need you to establish oh God establish us oh God establish the work of our hands establish us oh king of glory by the power of your holy ghost establish the work of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ establish the work of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because without you Jehovah God without you my king of glory in the makaraba shanda makurianda ramashaka without your grace without your grace oh God we can reach to nothing oh God without your grace oh king of glory my father in the mighty name of Jesus be the name I ako bwana hatuwezi kufika mahala popote be the name I ako mfalmo arehema katika jina la Yesu Christo in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, Rikanta Rabashaya. We worship you, our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Pia Palakatika, in verse 14, in verse 14, in verse 14, the word of God says that, O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Let us also ask God to make us, to make us glad, that we may live in gladness and satisfaction. Ask God to cause us, ask God to make you to live in gladness uh, to live in satisfaction uh, that you are not going to regret ya kwamba hauta hautaweza hautaweza kujuta kuokoka hautajuta kuwa mwanaume hautajuta kuokoka katika jina la Yesu reka bashanda mwambie bwana that he may satisfy you that he may satisfy you ask God to satisfy you ask God to cause you to be glad reka basharama re baba babu shakarama Ask God to make you, to make you glad uh, that all your days uh, that you are not going to regret, uh, that you are not going to regret, uh, that you are not going to regret, uh, that your life ya kwamba hautajuta, lakini maisha yako itajaa furaha, maisha yako ikajae furaha. Mwambie Bwana, asababishe maisha yako ikajae furaha katika jina la Yesu. Muombe Bwana, asababishe maisha yako ikajae furaha katika jina la Yesu reka bashandaraba reka rababa bori masharaba makuri masandaraba reka rababa bori makaraba makuri andaraba shikaraba bari andari makuya reka rababa bori masharaba baba kosa suri choisa kosa suri choisa reka suri choisa kosa subi clara in the name of Jesus we worship you God in the name of Jesus tunapomalizia tunapomalizia kuna wanaume wengine huko nje wako kwa pombe wako kwa nasa ni huruma tu Mungu ametuhurumia ya kwamba ametuokoa sisi ametuleta mbele yake tusimame kwa mwanya let us call them into salvation let us call those men hapa wamefungwa na shetani let us call them into the kingdom of God to aita ni mandugu zetu they are our brothers they are our fathers they are our sons let us call them into salvation let let us call them now to aite sasa to afungue kutoka kwa minyororo to aite sasa katika jina la Yesu we have the power we have the authority let us call them into salvation reka rababa 
Babu Shanda. We are calling you now. We are calling you now. Head to salvation. Ginya Bome Fungwa Pome. Ginya Bome Fungwa Pome. Tuna waita kwa wokovu. Kate kachina la yesu. Tuna waita kwa wokovu sasa. Kate kachina la yesu. Tuna watenga nisha na mauti. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tuna watenga nisha na mauti. Tuna watenga nisha na kifo. Reka bashanda raba. In the name of Jesus. Wale wako kwa madawa ya kurebia. Wale wambao wako kwa pome. Wale ambao wako kwa nasa. Tuna waita kwa ufano wa mungu. Tuna waita sasa. Manduku zetu tuna waita. Baba zetu tuna waita. Watoto wetu tuna waita. Katika ufano wa mungu. Tuna waita sasa. Wanaume wa eneo hili. Ya barnabasa. Wanaume wa eneo hili. Haboho wa chokoka. Tuna waita kwa wokovu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Call them, call them. Waita. Sasa, waite kwa wokovu Call them into salvation Call them into salvation Call them into salvation Call them into salvation Tangaza hawata kufa Hawata kufa Hawata kufa Lakini wata okoka Hawata kufa Lakini wata badirika Hawata kufa Hawata kufa Reka bashanda Reka riba sharaba Hawata kufa my God Hawata kufa my Father Tuna tangaza Hawata kufa We are called Calling them now. Tuna watenga nisha na mauti. Reba shakaraba. Tuna watenga nisha na mauti. Katika jina la yesu. Reka basharaba zanda. We worship you our God. We worship you our Father. Oh my God. The Spirit of God is just reminding me. That we also pray for ourselves. Roa mungu na nikumbusha kwamba. Adui ya mekusudia kuwa, kuwa wanaume. Kama vile tunajua kutoka kwa muanzo. Mpangu wa shetani ni kuwa wanaume. Na hachagui kama ni umijaokoka ama umeokoka. Kwa hivyo kwa dakika moja tu. Ningia penda ujiombe. Pray for the covering of the blood of Jesus. Katana na every mature dead. Wanaume ndi wanakufa kabla muda wao. Tangaza webe hauta kufa. Tangaza ya kwamba hauta kufa. Pray against the spirit of death that is looking for you. Tangaza hauta kufa. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your life. Omba kinyume na roho wakifo. Ya kwamba hauta kufa. Kama mwanaume hauta kufa. Hauta wacha maono. Yako kama hauta timisa. Pray against the spirit of death. Omba kinyume na roho Kifo, every mature day that have been sent upon your life pray against it in Jesus name that you are not going to die that you are not going to die in the name of Jesus Christ we are not going to die Rekaba Shanda Hatuta Kufa my God Hatuta Kufa Kabla Wakati Wetu Wila Oma Kinyumena Kifo Katika Jina La Yesu Kinyumena Kifo Bwana Hawa Wana Ume Ampao Umereta Mahara Hapa Hawa Ata Kufa Bwana Hadu Ya Mepanga Wakufa Kufa wakiwa wachanga, lakini hatuta kufa my God, we are not going to die, lakini tutaishi, kutangaza wema wako, speak long life, tangaza maisha marefu, speak long life, tangaza maisha marefu, jitabirie maisha marefu, that you are not going to die, ya kwamba hauta kufa, in the name of Jesus, we are not going to die, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are not going to die, the spirits of cancer, the disease, and all sicknesses that are looking for us they are not going to find us the blood of Jesus upon our lives we are pleading the blood upon our lives in the name of Jesus we worship you our God we are not going to die we are not going to die but we are going to live to declare your works to declare your works in the name of Jesus, we are not going to die. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, our God. We are not going to die. Tunaishi kutangaza we mawako. Tunaishi bohana. Kukamirisha ile kazi umetuitia kama wanaume. Katika jina la yesu. Hakuna ataka ekufa mahara hapa. Kabla wakati wake. Hata watoto wetu. Wakiume na wao. Wastana. There is no death. In the name of Jesus. We worship your God. In the name of Jesus. Vizazi, Adi Vizazi, Via Kufahamu, Uli Mungu, 
kali Naulie mungu aliho Kazi zako zaonyesha Uku wako iwe Umetukuka, umeinuliwa Hewe mwana Imba vizazi Vizazi ya di vizazi Vya kufahamu wewe Ulie mungu wakali Na ulie mungu alio Kazi za koza onyesha Uku wako wewe Umetukuka Umejivika utukufu Wewe ni mungu Kweli wewe Kweli wewe Wewe ni mungu Kweli wewe Wasta Thank you, Father. Just give the Lord a mighty hand clap and celebrate the presence of God. Celebrate the presence of God. Celebrate the presence of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Please find two, three people. Just welcome them in the presence of God. Just find two, three people. And if they are seated alone, bring them nearer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bring them nearer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please you can take your seat. You can take your seat in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, both my brothers, Pastor Kamau and my brother Nixon. Thank you so much in Jesus' mighty name. I'm really so grateful to stand before you as men. It's such a great honor and I don't take it for granted. Praise the Lord. I would like to thank so much our dear mom, Bishop Esther, I know she might be somewhere, behind somewhere. She's listening. Praise the Lord. But she gave us an opportunity to be here on this altar. Amen? So that we can sharpen one another, equip one another, beautify ourselves. So can we, with an appreciation, give a mighty hand clap to appreciate mom. Hallelujah. Amen. And I will also want to thank so much for my brother uh, Austin that made us be here. Hallelujah. Uh, is the connection that we had. Praise the Lord. Is the connection that we had. I talked to him some time ago and uh, he told me it is possible. It is possible. Hallelujah. So thank you so much my brother Austin, I know, is always everywhere. Hallelujah. 
is uh, everywhere, but he's a wonderful man. Ever since I knew him many years ago, almost like seven years ago, uh, he's always been a good friend to me. Hallelujah. Amen. And the entire team and uh, the committee for men on this altar, thank you so much for the work that you've done to bring us together. Hallelujah. I've come to realize that in many churches, there are no main departments. Literally, there are no main departments. You come in the church and there are no men. No men at all. Yet the church is functioning. I don't know how. Without men. Glory to Jesus. Probably the only man there might be the pastor. Amen. Uh, is the man there. But it is not good. Hallelujah. Men, we should always learn to have our fellowships. Amen. We should come out of our cocoon, gather like here, like now, just come and dance, shout, hallelujah. Uh, forget about the troubles of the work, the troubles in the family. Just forget about for once, hallelujah. And just take a moment and just rejoice in the presence of God. Amen. So from every church where you come from, make sure at least there is a fellowship for men. Make sure it is there. Amen. Then if you are two, meet. Hallelujah. Then if you're going to meet, and when we are talking of men, we are not talking of men like, uh, you know, you, you, you have already cut off, you have sold a lot of beard. Hallelujah. But uh, my, my father there, you see, even the beard is white. Hallelujah. We are not talking of men with white beard. No. Hallelujah. We are talking of male. Hallelujah. Because the problem is not a man, a man as man. Hallelujah. But the male factor. It's the male factor. And we need to help the male stand be established. Hallelujah. So if the men with a beard like yours, Baba, they don't come, gather the young men. Those in teens, the, the, the little ones, sharpen them for the future. Hallelujah. So I'm so excited. I'm by the name H.P. Williams. I'm so happy to see some of my friends here. I can see the two Dan's there. Eh? Yes, Dan and Dan. Hallelujah. Uh, I've seen my brother Steve somewhere. Uh, Steve is there. I've seen uh, Pastor Jumba. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> nice to see you after some time. Glory to God. We always meet on the road. Eh? Always on the road and he's passing me going to uh, his fellowship somewhere. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is good. Thank you so much for coming. Amen. I assure you by nine we shall be here. Amen. And uh, we already have uh, almost 29 minutes uh, that is with us. Glory to God. So allow me to share a few things uh, with us. Our theme is a unique theme. We pick it from First Kings chapter 2 and verses, uh, verses 1 and 2 to uh, 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. First Kings uh, chapter 2 and verses 1 to 4, but specifically verses 2. Praise the Lord. Specifically verses 2. And verses 2, at the end of it, it says, show yourself a man. Hallelujah. That's the theme. Hallelujah. That's the theme we are using today. Show yourself a man. And we have put it under a big theme we call rebuilding foundations. Rebuilding foundations. That means there is something that God wants us to build. Hallelujah. Something that existed. Probably now it is destroyed. It is wasted. And God wants us to rebuild it. 
he wants us to rebuild it. For example, let me read you a scripture. If you come with me in the book of Isaiah 58, Isaiah 58, and verses, specifically verses 12, but you can have time and go read the entire chapter, but we shall read verses 12. It says, those from among you shall build the old west places. Hallelujah. It says, those that among you shall build the old west places. Now, he calls them old and west. Old and west. And he says, there is something, someone, that is mandated to rebuild the old and west places. Praise the Lord. And that is you. That is me. That is us. And he goes on to say, you shall rise up the foundations of many generations. Glory to God. You shall rise up foundation. That means they are already down. They are sinking. They are broken. They are no longer existing. And God through Isaiah is telling us, you shall raise them up. Hallelujah. And he's not just talking about foundations of your generation, but for many generations. As a man, you need to understand you are a carrier. You carry a seed. You carry generations in your lenons. Hallelujah. The future depends on what you carry. Now just imagine that what you carry is brought forth when foundations are out of course. The Bible says, what shall a righteous man do when foundations are out of course? You are carrying a generation. You are carrying a future. You are carrying many generations. Hallelujah. One day God spoke to man and he said, I'll bless you from the fourth to a thousandth generations. That means as a man, you have potential to wheel a thousand generations ahead. Glory to God. You have that potential. You have that ability. That seed in you is not a seed that you're going to plant today and die tomorrow. But it's a seed that carries a future with it. That carries generations and generations to come. Glory to God. Remember what the Bible tells us. A righteous man leaves an inheritance for his children. That means if you are a man, you are supposed to leave something in form of an inheritance. Glory to God. For the generations to come. Glory to God. So he says in Isaiah 58 and verses 12, he says, those from among you shall build the old west places. You shall raise the foundations of many generations. And he says, you shall be called. This is what a man is called. He's called a repairer of breach. Hallelujah. A repairer. To repair simply means something has been despaired. It's broken. It needs to be brought together. When you see families wrecking, breaking, fighting one another, it is simply a responsibility of a man to come into that family and repair it by using tools like love. Hallelujah. Tools like love. You love them in their weakness, in their failure. You choose to love them. Glory to God. So the Bible calls you a repairer. Hallelujah. You repair broken hearts. You repair breaches in marriages. You repair breaches in relationships. You repair even breaches not only in your family, but in the nation at large. Hallelujah. That is who you are. A repairer. And then there is another name he calls you. It says a restorer. Hallelujah. New King James says restorer of streets to dwell in. 
King James says, restorer of paths. Paths, hallelujah. You know a path. A path is not like a street. It's like a small arrow. Like a road. You know, unakumbuka ako kanjia ka kachijiji. Unaingia nayo kwa nyumba. Hallelujah. If you go in the village somewhere, you'll find small, small roots. You know? But those roots, amazingly, they end up into a family. That small root, you see, it is bushy everywhere. It ends up in the shamba <laughs> somewhere. Hallelujah. It, that small root, it connects you to a bigger thing that is on the other side. Glory to God. And the Bible says you are the restorer. To restore means you need to go back somewhere. Hallelujah. Go back somewhere. I'm not going to go into that simple definition. But it's a command. Hallelujah. So to be a restorer, you need to always deal with the source. Glory to God. Let me say this, child of God, man, as you hear me. There is a man that is, even the devil is afraid of. Hallelujah. There is a man, even the kingdom of darkness fears. Not because they look so great in the physical realm. Hallelujah. But because of what they have become. Hallelujah. Number one. And number two, because of what they have established upon themselves as a foundation. Praise the name of the Lord. When you read the book of Job, Job is a unique entity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the days of Job, a lot of things happen. We can see sons of God. We can see friends of Job. We can see a man who had a family and lost it all in a single day. Hallelujah. In other words, Job tested life from all angles, like many of us. Praise the Lord. We have tested life from all angles. Job was in there. But there was something that made Job unique. Glory to God. And in briefing, I want to show you what made Job unique. Three things actually that made Job unique. Listen, as a man, this should be part of your foundation. Glory to God. Job was a man that loved God. Praise the Lord. Now, if the devil is going to be afraid of you, these three things can, must be in you. Praise the Lord. Must become your foundation. Hallelujah. Must become your foundation. You must be a man that love God. Hallelujah. You must be a man that has a family. Praise the Lord. And you also must be a man that has substance. Hallelujah. These are the three foundations. When you go back to Genesis, God never allowed man to step in without the three becoming his foundation. He made sure there is a garden substance. He made sure his presence. Actually, when you read Genesis chapter 5, the Bible says God is the father of man. He had a family. Praise the Lord. God is the father of man. He had substance, gold, silver. Everything in the garden was to man. Glory to God. So when man, as long as man lived under that foundation, there was no devil that could come near him. There was no devil that could stop him. 
There was nothing from the physical realm, even the spiritual realm, that could hinder him to progress in life. Hallelujah. And then Genesis chapter 3 comes to pass. And the Bible says man fell from his position. He lost his foundation. The moment he lost his foundation, he also lost glory. He also lost command. You're not hearing me. He also lost identity. He corrupted the seed that he carried to the extent that what he carried became against him. Why? Because his foundation was no longer holding him. He had lost his foundation. When a man loses God in their life, they have lost the support, the foundation by which they are supposed to exist and function. So it becomes impossible for such a man to become operative, to become functional, to progress in life. Why? Because he has no foundation. Glory to Jesus. That's why in the book we are reading, 1 Kings chapter 2 and verses 2, it says, show yourself a man. Hallelujah. What is he trying to tell this young man? What is God trying to tell us as men? It is very simple. Hallelujah. He wants us to go back and reestablish the foundations that began us. Let God be God in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God be God in our lives. A man void of God has no voice. Even in his own home. You speak and they say, ah, I, 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 The moment I'm a Maliza, uh, dawayake. Hallelujah. A man without God has no identity. That's why we are being defined. You've heard the definition they are calling us nowadays. Hallelujah. They call you a boy child. A boy child. They are defining you. The society is defining you. A man with a beard. You have children, but you are a boy and a child. That means even the child you gave birth to, you are equal. They degrade you. They devalue you. Why? Because you have not allowed the foundation to hold you, which is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they call you by their own definition, a boy, child, a boy. The Bible say in Galatians, it says, as long as a hair is a boy, he has to be under masters, monitored 24, because they are in danger to themselves. They are a trouble to themselves. They they can kill themselves while they are, they are still looking. Hallelujah. They, they can destroy themselves at any time. They have to be monitored. They have to be watched. Because they are still boys. I don't agree with that definition. I don't agree that you are a boy. That your problem is a boy child. No, your problem is not a boy child. Your problem is the foundation. So you must regain your foundation. You must allow God to take his place in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Show yourself. Let me show you something. Hallelujah. Let's go and read 
First Kings chapter 2 and verses 1. This is what he says. Now the days of David drew near that he should die. Hallelujah. Now I want you, if you're reading your own Bible, oh, we are digital. Praise the Lord. But you can put it in your notebook. Now the days of David. The days of who? Not King David. The days of David. Hallelujah. Drew near that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying. Glory to God. He charged who? Solomon, his son. His seed. Glory to God. Let me show you something. Please put a mark there. Hallelujah. Let's jump to uh, Genesis. Genesis chapter 18 verses 19. Are you there? Genesis 18 and verses 19. Look at this. It's talking, God is talking about Abraham. Hallelujah. And by this time we know Abraham uh, has a lot of things going on in his life. Glory to God. He's been waiting for God to give him a child for a long time. He has not seen a child. He has opted to the idea that was given to him. Many men have no idea, have no vision. So they live by any vision. Someone tells you, Pastor Kamau, and he say, ah, this one can work. Our pastor, one day he gave us a story of this Matatu guy. This Matatu guy always could tell the, his friends, and he told them, me, if my wife says anything, they know their position. You can't, my wife cannot just talk to me like that. No, 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 no. How? Eh? How? They can't talk to me. I know how to put them in their position. By putting them in their position mean beating them up. That's what the, the man, the Matatu guy was telling his friends. So there was, as he's talking, one of his colleagues is listening. And he says, but I have a problem. In my house, my wife is like, is in charge of my life. Is telling me this, telling me that. Do this, go here, don't go here. ABCD is like controlled by my wife. So he's listening to this guy who is telling him how to make the wife submit. So he goes back home. Hallelujah. And when he went home, this time the woman, as always, she begins talking. And the guy gets the nyaunyu. Hallelujah. Pa, pa. Yeah? And the neighbors come and they say, what is going on? I'm putting her to submission. She must submit. I am the man in this house. So, nyumbakumye likuja walisaidia. Praise the Lord. Now, he goes back. Actually, he did not go back. They had to send a message uh, to his colleagues and say, hey, unajua lafikienyu wapu na kopolis. What happened? Alichapa muke wake. Eh? The first person kufungua macho ni ye alikuwa nasema. Alifanya haji, alichapa muke Do they beat women? And then he realized this guy could talk. But in the house, he used to submit. <laughs> and we have men like that. You see them on the streets. They are walking with shoulders up. And when they go back in the house, you know, they don't even... They don't want to knock the door so that they will be told they, are, they have come. Because there is something they are lacking. Hallelujah. As a man, have a vision. Don't live by the drops from other people. Where I come from, we have a saying that the road 
in your neighbor's house will never chase away the lion at your door. Hallelujah. If you, the neighbor has a rod, a stick, a big cane, and a lion comes at your door, Nixon, the, the rod at your neighbor will not be able to help you. Hallelujah. So sharpen yourself. But how are you going to have vision when your foundations are out of stake? Rebuild them. Rebuild your relationship with God. Hallelujah. So the Bible tells us, uh, we are in Genesis chapter 19 and verse, uh, Genesis 18 and verses 19. It says, for I know, he's talking of Abraham, for I know him, Abraham, I know him. God is saying, I know him. I know Abraham. Why? Oh, what does God know about him? It says, in order that he may command his children. Uh, let me read it from King James. It will be better. Praise the Lord. Let me read it from King James. It says, for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. Hallelujah. This is the record God has about a man, Abraham, who has no children. Hallelujah. He has no children. The man is struggling. The man has a lot of challenges. He cannot decide on what he wants and what he doesn't want. He has been lying all around. When he goes to Egypt, he lies. You know, this man has some challenges with him. Like many of us, we have some challenges with us. But let me tell you, child of God, God knows you. He knows you not by your weaknesses. He knows you but by what you are willing to do tomorrow. He knows you by the purpose he made you for. He knows you according to his counsel. When he created you, you are in his image. Hallelujah. So he knows you as his image. Is somebody hearing me? Hallelujah. The only MA comes from Pastor Kamau. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But listen, child of God. He knows you irrespective of your weakness. You might be a stammerer. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to articulate the vision that he has given you. You cannot give detail to it. But listen, he knows you. He says, I know him for this reason. He will command. He will command. He will command his children. His seed, he will command it. Ah, He will command his seed. He will put his seed in order. He will bring his seed to me and his seed will serve me. I know him. God should know you from that perspective. That you are able to command your seed to serve God in his time. Hallelujah. It says, for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way. They shall keep what? The way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord. Listen to that part. Last part. It says that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken to him. There is something God has spoken to each one of us here. Whether you know or you don't know. You are not a coincidence. You are not an accident that happened in your mama's womb and you were brought forth. No. He knew you, Jeremiah chapter 1. He knew you before you came into your mama's womb. He separated you. He anointed you, ordained you. And he is expecting you to speak to nations. He knows you. As a man, he knows you. The question is, what is your foundation? <laughs> Hallelujah. You should show yourself a man by rebuilding the foundation. 
your relationship with God. Let God be God in your life. Glory to Jesus. Let God be God in your life. He says, there is something I spoke. And because I know Pastor Kamau, hallelujah, I know him, he will command his family. He'll command his seed. That's why I'm going to fulfill what I spoke over his life. Now, let's go back to our scripture that we are reading. First Kings chapter, one, chapter 2 and verses 1. It says, now the days of David drew near that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying. Two things I want you to pick from that scripture. Two things. Every man at the point of their death, they should put on the originality of their true self. Stop pretending. Wachana na hiyo mambo uliambiwa na wazazi that ah if mtu amekuchapa jikaze hakuna kulia. You have feelings. You have feelings. You are not a robot. Hallelujah. You are not stone, a mawe. We see mawe. Hallelujah. You feel when someone kicks you, you say ah an aluma. Hallelujah. So you 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 need to put on your true self. The origin of your true self. Don't die in pretense. Don't die in the live version of you. There is a live version of you. Where you put on a, a suit like uh, my brother Nixon here. You know? Oh, you know? Omejichonga vizuri. Then on atembea kumbe. Nyumbani kina, eh? Kimeumana. Kinalia. Hallelujah. There is trouble there in the house. And yet on a jikaza come a man. No. No. Put on your true self. I want you to take note, child of God. First Kings chapter 2 verses 1. The scripture does not address David as king. It addresses him as David. When Nixon. When Kamau. See pastor Kamau. Period. Hallelujah. When HP Williams. Period. There is nothing like, uh, this is my husband. No, no husband. There is the original version of you. David, the man after God is heart. That original version. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not King David. King David was not a man after God is heart. Ah, you didn't hear that child of God. King David was not a man after God is heart. It was David who was a man after God's heart. Glory to Jesus. It was David when you read in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 18, the Bible say that David was a mighty man. He was a man of war. He was a variant man. And they conclude, that is 1 Samuel 16, verses 18. It concludes by saying, God was with him. <laughs> His foundation was God. God was with him. What made him a mighty man? God was with him. What made him a man, a variant man? God was with him. What made him a man of war? God was with him. What made him a, a man after God's heart? God was with him. His foundation, this is David, not King David. Hallelujah. At a point of your death, child of God, before you quit this earth, this physical realm, listen, as a child of God, you must put on the originality of your true self. Become true to yourself. Become true to yourself. Hallelujah. And number two that I want you to pick from that same scripture, First King chapter 2, verses, uh, we are in verses 1. The second thing that I want you to know, every man can only command or charge that which they have raised. Every man can only command or charge that which they have raised. He charged his son Solomon. Hallelujah. He did not go to his neighbor's house. This was his son, Solomon. 
He raised him. For you to be called my son, I should raise you. Hallelujah. The reason why you don't have command in, for, or, or, of the things that God has entrusted in your hand is because you are not raising them fast in the first place. So they don't recognize you. My brother, they don't recognize you. Your children cannot obey. They don't recognize you. You are the one calling them my children. They don't call you, he is our father. Hallelujah. Because if I am your father, where is my respect? If I am your father, Malachi, if I am your father, where is my respect? If I am your Lord, where is my honor? Children should honor their father. But the reason they don't honor you is because you have not raised them. Train a child in the way they should go. That when they grow up, they will stick to it. Train them in the way they should go. You should raise them in the nature of God. You should raise them knowing your foundation is God. Hallelujah. You can only command. That's why up to today, Abraham has no command over Ishmael. He never raised him. He's a wild beast. He raised himself. He grew up in the jungle, in the wilderness. So, Baba, nakujua olinitupa. Oh, eh, nilikuwa mbegu tuwe lianguka tu kutoka kwako, but, eh? Paka mali niko, si wewe. I can't see myself in you. He charged. Remember, David has children. They have solemns are there. They, all his children are there. But this one, the Bible called his son, his son, Solomon, Solomon, his son. He raised him. Practically, he raised him. He raised him. Glory to God. You can only command and charge that which you have raised. As a man, then he comes on in verses 2. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 2 and verses 2. It says, I go the way of all the earth. Hallelujah. I go the way of all the earth. Be strong. Hallelujah. Show yourself a man. Do what? Be strong. Show. This is how men train their seed. Because they know our strength is from the foundation that carries us. Hallelujah. So, my seed, I want you to be strong. Be strong. In other words, acknowledge your foundation. Acknowledge your foundation. God is your foundation. Acknowledge your foundation. Hallelujah. So that you can show yourself a man. The key thing there that I want you to See, is the understanding of the operation of the way of the earth. The earth has a way it operates. Remember in Genesis, God created what? Heaven and earth. Genesis chapter 2, the Bible say that the earth, actually when you read Genesis chapter 1 verses 1, and it says God created the earth, uh, heaven and earth, hallelujah. And when you come down, it says the earth was void. So, there is a tendency, the way of the earth. The earth tends to be void most of the time. To be void simply means arrogant. Disobedient. It rejects the truth. It's the way of the earth. Hallelujah. That's why they wake up and they call you a boy child. A boy child. The reason they are calling you a boy child, they are trying to reject the true nature, the true self, the true you. The man after God's image, they are trying to reject you by defining you by another definition. In Genesis chapter 2, it says this is the history 
of the earth in the day that God made heaven and earth. And he says, when the earth, nothing was planted in it. There was no herb. And he says, two things had not happened on the earth. He says, there was no man. And number two, there was no rain. There was no man. And number two, in other words, the earth to yield its best and command change and influence and bring life and the glory of God it must be under the command of a man. Our families are not going to change until you show yourself a man. Our children will do drugs. Our seed will be wasted in couches and all kinds of things that happen outside there. Until you show yourself a man. Showing yourself a man is not getting a cane and beginning caning them. No. Rebuild the foundation. Let God become your foundation. Rebuild that foundation. You will have counsel. You will know. You will become wiser how to help them overcome their addictions. You will know how to lead them in the way that is going to cause them to prosper. You will know how to show them the best in life so that they can live in praising your God. Rebuild that foundation. Hallelujah. There is a way of the earth. And the end of the way of the earth is death. Hallelujah. The end of the way of the earth is death. You should not die. Don't die like everyone else. Don't die like everyone else. Show yourself a man. Let's, let's see that. Hallelujah. We are in uh, First Kings. Let me show you something and then I finish. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter, chapter 2. Let me show you something and then we finish. Praise the Lord. It says, I go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and prove yourself a man. Verse 3. It says, keep the charge of the Lord, your God. Do what? He's not referring him to keep his commandments. Fathers, men, we have commands. Say, no, this is how I do things. Oh, baba yangu alikuwa anafanya hivi. Wewe unafanya hivi. Sasa unataka watoto wako wafanye the same way umefanya. Yet even vitu ulifundishwa na baba yako hakuna mali zimekusaidia. Yet unafikiria zinaenda kusaidia watoto wako. Yet wamekuwa digital. Wako on tut on WhatsApp, you know, face chat, you know, they are tweeting, they are everywhere. And you are thinking the information they are receiving from other fathers <laughs> mixed with your father. Eh? <laughs> they want the things you taught them. Hallelujah. They are going to help them. No wonder they are more confused. More confused. Because they are gathering information from different resources. The sources where they are gathering information, some of them are defiled. Some of them are corrupt. Some of them are wrong. You need to show yourself a man by doing what? Take charge of God's counsel. That's what he tells him in verse 3. It says, keep the charge of the Lord your God. The Lord what? Your God. Not even my God, your God. You should know him not as the God of David, but you should know him as the God of Solomon. Hallelujah. It says the counsel of that God. Keep it. Hallelujah. And then he says walk in his ways. Don't just keep it. Walk in his ways. Walk in what? In his ways. And then he goes on to say uh, walk in his ways. Keep his statutes. Hallelujah. His commandments. His judgments. His testimonies as it is written. These are things you must record in your DNA. 
write them in your DNA. Hallelujah. Not just in the book. Hallelujah. Not just in the book. Uh -uh. In your DNA. They should be part of you. Walk in them. Keep them. These are God's counsel. God's commandments. His testimony. Keep them. Hallelujah. Be the first to pray in your house. Be the first to read the Bible. Hallelujah. Be the first even to help those young girls of yours. Don't send them to mama. Don't send them to mama. They have just begun their MPs. And you're telling them, Izo mambo si juyi enda kwa mama. Ah ah, wasaidie. Kuwa hapo, wambia ah, unajua, mimi ni baba yako. I should raise you in the way that I want you to go. So even in this journey, we go together. They will never leave you. They will never desert you. They will never say, ah, mama, baba li tuwachia mama. So tabia zote tukonazo ni za mama. Hey, keep his statutes. And look at verses 4. Actually, he says something there. He says why he wants you to keep them and write them in your DNA so that you may prosper. That you may prosper. Hallelujah. And number two, that the Lord may fulfill that which he spoke to David. Hallelujah. Why are you going to show yourself a man? Because your children, your children must enjoy what God spoke over your life. Child of God, do you know there is nowhere when you read Genesis chapter 11, Genesis, the beginning of Genesis 12, it begins now God spoke to Abraham. Does it say like that? No. It says, now God had spoken. The question is, when? When did God speak to Abraham? God never spoke to Abraham. God spoke to his father. Abraham is stepping into what God had spoken over his father. And what was for his father has become Abraham. And what was for Abraham has become for his children. Hallelujah. There is something that God has spoken over your life. And then when you read down there, you'll discover. He said, this is what God spoke to me. He said, as long as you show yourself a man as my son, you show yourself a man, there will never a single day miss a king on the throne of Israel. Leadership. Authority. Power. Hallelujah. He says, God promised me this. He said, as long as you show yourself a man, there will always be a lineage. We shall always be a lineage of power. A lineage of authority. A lineage walking in prosperity. Walking in goodness, in abundance, walking in favor, divine favor, a lineage walking under divine protection, we shall always be covered. Let's stand up on our feet. Oh, hallelujah, child of God. Are you blessed? Show yourself what? A man. Stop cowarding, stop hiding, stop. Running away, show yourself a man. A man that his foundation is God. Hallelujah. The reason why the devil is knocking, you know, because Adam never showed himself a man. The devil knew where to attack. Hallelujah. He knew where to attack. If Adam told his wife, this is the counsel of God. This is what God told me. Hallelujah. We cannot pass easy me paka. Easy mungu aliziweka na mimi siwezi kuzipa, ku, kupita. Hallelujah. 
So, as a family, we walk under this instruction. We walk under this order. This is who we are. When the devil came, it knew there was someone untold that became the loophole. You don't teach your wife, yet you want your wife. Man, we should even teach our wife how to cook. If Gizeri elikuwa mbaya, chumbi ni mingi, wafundishe kupika. We enda shule ya kupika, o jue, the way ona pika, o kuche, o wafundishe. Hallelujah. Show me in the Bible where you saw a woman cooking. It was money's duty. Kitchen is money's duty. Cleaning the house is money's duty. HP, mimi nimezeeka bwana. Nimelelewa hivi bwana. Hakuna kitu najua hii ni mambo ya wamama. No. You're going to be the difference. You're going to be the difference. I love it when my boys see me in the kitchen. They all come. Ah, daddy, today you are the one cooking. And most of the time when I cook, my wife doesn't want to eat what I've cooked. Why? Because I mix everything. Yeah, I mix everything. I try everything. I want to see if you put ugari and you mix it with majan tea, how will it taste? I cook everything. Hallelujah. Everything. I've tried, I've tried rice uh, in porridge. Have you ever tasted that? Yeah, it's a whole diet. You eat once you've eaten, supper, lunch, rice in porridge. It is good. Try it. Hallelujah. And most of the time they laugh. But at the end of the day, there is something I'm teaching my little ones. That it's n this work is, I make sure everyone, you, you cannot just run to school. To do what? The best school is house. Clean your bed. Make it neat. Make sure that you leave no suspense in the jiko. Hallelujah. So they should know. And I also do it. And they know. Show yourself a man. Hallelujah. Just lift up. I want us to make this one prayer point. I want us, God, to establish us. To establish our foundation. To establish us in his counsel. Let every foundation that has been shaking in our lives be established in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. As men, we cannot live defined by the world as boy child, as boy children. No, we are not boys. We are not simply children. We are men raised up in the statutes and the counsel of God. We are men dedicated to serve our God in our time that we may repair and restore found foundations for many generations in the name of Jesus oh God refuse to be an entity refuse to be a nobody refuse to be just a boy in a family no show yourself a man show yourself a man in the name of Jesus Christ oh God may God become our foundation maybe God become our counsel maybe God become our lead may God become our counsel our direction in the name of Jesus oh God the Bible says that the Word of God the Word of God is a light to my path and a lamp to my footstep I decree and declare as a man may God become the light over your path may God become the lamp over your path in the name of Jesus Christ oh God may your counsel be called his counsel may the wisdom of God fall upon you for you to raise yourself in stature for you to raise yourself in the will of God in the name of Jesus but far above for you to repair the foundations to repair the breach in the name of Jesus Christ oh God Limo Sandeka, Parasu se Kataya, Li Parason Zeka, Pereketo Paracatusa, Li Paraso Nomoko, Radakaria Basu se Kariaba. I break every chain, every chain of traditions of your life. I break every counsel of life of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The things that have tied you in slavery, the things that have tied you in and decision life. 
I decree and declare, let them be destroyed over your life in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. You might be in the valley of Baca right now, a valley of weeping, a valley of pain, a valley of brokenness. I decree and declare, may your soul be repaired, may your spirit be repaired, may your life be repaired, may your will be repaired in the name of Jesus, oh God. Refuse to be refused. Deny to be denied. Reject to be rejected. In the name of Jesus, oh God. This morning, as men, we stand out. As men, we stand over. As men, we stand above. In the name of Jesus, oh God. May your ways become God's ways. May your will become God's will. May your counsel be God's counsel. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over your family as a man that is hearing my voice, I speak the glory of God to return to your home, to return to your family, to return over your children. As we read in Psalms 90 and verses 14, may God satisfy you, Ari. May God satisfy you, Ari. May beauty come upon your children and your seed to a thousand generation. May you encounter life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you for the healing of every man in the house this morning. We put on our true self. We put off the garment of pretense. That we are no, we are strong, yet we are weak inside. We are fainting inside. We are dying inside. Yet outside there, they see a man that looks more strong. Father, we put off that garment of pretense. We dress our true self. We dress our true self in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. As we rebuild the foundations of many generations, rebuild us, Father. Rebuild us. Our hearts are in need of you. Our lives are in need of you. If there was a time we ever needed you, now is the time. A lot has been adopted from outside. We no longer enjoy your glory. In the cool of the day, we no longer hear your voice. We have lived by the counsel of our carnality. We have followed the counsel of the voice of our flesh. But today we return to the foundation. Rebuild us, Father, that we may show ourselves men give you praise father every condition in our midst is being addressed right now every challenge in our family we bring it to the submission of God's counsel every storm in our life we speak peace in the name of Jesus peace in Jesus name thank you Holy Spirit Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am the best version. I am the best version of myself. I am made of God and God is my foundation. In Jesus' name. I know our tea is ready. Hallelujah. I want us to do two things. Amen. And number one, I have a book I've written. I came with a few copies. It's called Tithe. Unveiling the mystery and the power 
of an endless blessing. Hallelujah. As a leader, I recommend you to get this book. Before, hallelujah, your members get it. Amen. Because they will bump into a truth that is going to make them different. Hallelujah. I'm not against tithe. I just put matters straight. Praise the Lord. Because many of us are limited in the knowledge of tithe. We think tithe is simply 10%. Tithe is not 10%. Tithe is your inheritance. That's a come out. Have you ever seen that? It's in the scriptures. Tithe is equated to two things in the Bible. Number one, God. Number two, inheritance. Two things. So tithe is not 10%. 10% is part of your tithe, but it's not tithe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I came with a few copies, only 500. Please get a copy. And also by buying a copy, you're helping us to reach out to many. Hallelujah. We have missions all over uh, this nation, Kenya. Uh, also in Uganda. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is doing great. Praise the Lord. So please get yourself a copy. I came with around five, ten books. Amen. But still, you can tell me if you need. We can always deliver it. Hallelujah. Number two, as I call my brother, Pastor Kamau, is I want us to give. Praise the Lord. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Hallelujah. We are going to take tea. Someone bought it for us. Hallelujah. We are not paying anything. I'm not commanding you to, to give. Praise the Lord. I'm simply telling you, you must make that choice. Amen? To become a giver. It's a one way to show yourself a man. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. As we give our offerings, may your name be praised and glorified. I speak divine increase multiplication in all our finances in the name of Jesus and any limitation in our lives let it be limited in Jesus name we give you praise amen where should we put hallelujah